This is crazy. What's going on, gangsters? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Today, I am at the turf, and luckily, no one is on it. It's a crisp 45 degrees out, and I'm gonna work on some kicks and do some conditioning before I work all this afternoon and into the evening. It's gonna be a good time. One of the reasons why I have been practicing my kicks so much is mainly because when you're on your own, there's not a lot of um, like passing skill work you can do. And don't get me wrong, I need to work my passing, but I'm just, it, it's just me here up in little old Maine. So kicking is a skill I can work on every single day. And I do do a lot of um, visualization and field mapping, especially during my conditioning session acting like I'm catching a pass, acting like I'm making a pass, dodging a tackle, making a tackle, tracking someone. So there's a lot of visualization going on during the off season. Still no luck on the cleat search. So we're still rocking these bad boys. They're still holding up pretty well. I just know I'm gonna need a new pair by the time the season comes. And I want a new pair before um, rhinos. I start every kicking session off with just some kicks into the net. I also do like a little dynamic warm up. Just to get my legs going. I'm realizing now, this one I've had a perfect opportunity to put the mic on. But here we are. Another reason why I've been practicing a lot of my kicks was the men's World Cup just finished and they utilize the kick game and I think that's something come on that my game is lacking whether it's grubbers if I'm running down the sideline and I'm about to get tackled kicking it through and chasing onto it And we only have like one kicker. That's my teammate and friend, Amanda. So it's like, it's not a bad idea to have, to be decently good at kicking in case, oh, I don't know, she can't kick for some reason. So a lot of what I'm practicing is just accuracy and um, consistency. Being able to strike the ball the same way each time and really working on my distance. I don't have that yet. In case you guys were wondering, we went with the all red fit today. I don't normally wear leggings, but I didn't want to wear pants. Bad. 
something's off about my kicks right now, so I'm gonna go for a run and then try again. Uh, today was not a great conversion day. That's all right. They're not all gonna be great days. So I have like five, ten minutes before I have to head up to the high school. So now I'm just gonna do some field mapping kicks, acting like I have an open player on the wing, and then chasing after it. So skills and conditioning. I'm not gonna record that because. The, the field's too big, and I'm just gonna look like a little blob. It's not gonna look good. Boom. About 10 minutes of conditioning done. Time to go up to the high school. It's been five weeks since rugby has ended, or this is gonna be week five. And um, I will admit, I did take my foot off the gas conditioning-wise. I was just so burnt out, but um, that is re-entering into my weekly schedule and programming. I got a lot to fit in, right? Strength sessions, speed sessions, uh, skill sessions, conditioning. I work out, I try to work out for like two hours a day. One hour is doing rugby specific, and the other hour is in the weight room doesn't always happen um on the weekends it's more so just rugby and some conditioning the week is more of my weight room stuff but uh that's that's the schedule right now it's pretty crazy waking up 6 a.m gym 6 30 7 45 coach work do all that stuff come to the turf before i go to the high school in the afternoons work in the afternoons and evenings just do it all over again. <laughs> morning. Tough part about working out first thing in the morning, especially on lower body days, lower body days, just takes me so much longer to feel ready to sprint and to get warmed up, especially since we're getting up a little bit earlier lately. And uh, I'm just, I'm tired general warm-up of just a bunch of skips and hops is done and so now my sprint primer today consists of belt squat overcoming isos and ghd rebounds don't have a belt squat so what i've done is just taken one of the dip belts like the pull-up belts and i wrap the chain around one of the safety bars the tough part is just getting the angle right. Okay. So here, angle gets the bar. Push. Five seconds on one side, pushing as hard as I can, and then five seconds on the other. That's my makeshift overcoming ISO, and then I have these GHD rebounds, which are a little sketchy on this GHD machine. I essentially just yeet myself off this thing and then come back up as fast as I can. So here, Comes up, I might need Zoe to stand on it. I'm really impressed that I can do that. Yeah, it's awesome. Once I finish a segment of the workout, come over to the board and erase it. I time a lot of 
flying tens. Um, so the back, the but last ten meters or yards of my sprints. Wednesdays are typically an acceleration day, so now I time the first ten. Both are important, so I just try to do both during the week. One point seven nine one. That was pretty slow. On the first step, I can just feel my groin. What's a good speed that you're aiming for? Um, like sub one seven five. Uh, close to the one sevens. I want to be. I think that's yeah. That's where I want to be. It's not bad. First sprint of the day. We'll see how it goes. Your shoe came untied? Yeah. 1.781. Alright. And that's with an untied shoe. I feel really tired today. Last one, best one. What was it? 1.739. Nice. Final thoughts on your sprints? I'm trying not to get too much in my head because we've already been training for five weeks. So it's like the, the dip, hopefully, before the, the PR set to come next week. I'm just tired. Most of the time, I don't program for myself. Not that I can't, I just do so much programming for my teams and individual athletes that I don't want to program for myself. And when I program for myself, I question a lot of things. So I'll buy programs, I'll pay for coaching. I think it's good to have an outside perspective, opinion, ideas. There's a lot I like about this program, and then my biggest, like, irk, it's very repetitive. Like, the same movement patterns, same exercises. Some of it also just requires a lot of setup. done a bunch of jumps and I'm super setting jumps with all of this. It's just a lot. It's pretty windy out today so kicking probably isn't the best idea. My knee is also a little um, tender, achy today so I'm just gonna hop on an assault bike, do some zone 2 conditioning, I said it this morning, I'm really tired. It's been five weeks of hard training, but uh, you know, we're grinding through it. Thank you guys for watching. That's a typical lower body session and then a rugby skills session in the afternoon. And uh, hope you liked it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.